the road again. I'm Carol, and our staff has been working tirelessly taking your comments and trip suggestions. They've put the trip suggestions in our treasure chest, and we're going to pull one out randomly today. And you know the drill. First of all, we do a drum roll. Come on, come on, it makes you feel good. Oh, very good. Okay, here we go. Da 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 da. Oh, there we go. Okay, this one is from Kathy. She's in Washington State, and she is suggesting she's heard about Oatman, Arizona, and she wants to see what it looks like. So that's where we're gonna go. Oatman, Arizona. I was there oh, several years back. They have gunfights. Uh, there's burrows, wild burrows all over town. And you can feed them. You don't feed them carrots. You feed them alfalfa cubes because they get sick on carrots. And there's all kinds of things to see. That's going to be a fun trip. A little farther, but it's going to be a fun trip. We're on the road again. Woo! Welcome to Oatman, Arizona. What a great town. Just, oh, there's that varmint two hat. Two hat chance, come on. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Oh, he got me again. Come on over. Two hat is a resident of Oatman and knows a lot of the history, and he's going to join us on our, our adventure. Has yes. since he was how old? Uh, 11. 11 years old. So he's been he, here for a long time, and he knows a lot about the town. So let's walk on down. And over here we have knick-knack store. You can buy oatman trinkets and all that fun stuff. Well, that's a funny-looking horse. I don't think I've ever seen a horse looking no. like that before. It's got funny hooves on it. Sure does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's over here now? Well, right here we got Jackass Junction. This is actually where my ma works. Oh, great. And in there they have all sorts of different things. They've got replica Indian, all sorts of stuff. They've got stickers, magnets, oatmen, everything. And uh, you talked about the leather shop. Oh, interesting name. Yeah, and there they sell handmade jewelry and uh, handmade art. The classy ass, pardon my French. And on this side is the, oh, I'd like to go in there. Yeah, on this side here is the ore house. They have uh, pottery and all sorts of different art as well. There's some buckboards that are kind of modern. Yeah. A lot of people drive this Route 66. They sure well, do. Well, tell me about Route 66. Well, this road to the Route 66 is the oldest part of Route 66. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, up through here, through Sick Greaves Pass, or as I call it, the Grapes of Wrath, ah. um, <laughs> is uh, the oldest part. It hasn't been repaved. I think it's been repaved once. And it is the oldest and longest stretch of Route 66 that still stands. And this is a pretty famous place here. Yeah, right here we have the Open Hotel. Uh, Clark Gable, a famous movie actor, yeah. actually uh, stayed his honeymoon over here. Yeah, and Carol Lombard was his yep. new wife. Carol Lombard. They got married in Kingman, trying to avoid all paparazzi and everything, and then people found out they were up there, so they came down to Oatman. Gold Dollar General. All sorts of just knickknacks and then some drinks and all sorts of stuff. I see a lot of raw uh, desert honey. Yes, that's all over here. Uh, we have a guy that comes up in a stagecoach and he brings it up here oh, comes and in a stage sells coach. it. Yeah. How great! Is it? And it's all natural. It's uh, doesn't have all those preservatives that a lot of them yeah. do. It's it's better to buy the natural. Yeah. yeah. Over here we have the open bar and restaurant. Tell me about the dollar bills. In there, it started originally as. Um, the miners would die a lot in the mines. Yeah. So back then, a dollar could buy them weeks worth of beer. So they'd stick a dollar, they'd give the dollar to the bartender, he'd stick it on the wall with their name on it. So that way, when they came back the next day, they could buy their beer and the bartender wouldn't go broke. It's like their credit. Yeah. They pay it up front. And I see there's an ATM, which is kind of funny. Right next to 
all yeah, that. It's in all the money. Yeah. Yeah. That's our bank. Yeah. 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 So I noticed, you know, we played a little bit of gunfighting. Of course, yeah. mine weren't doing so good. But tell us about how you got into gunfighting. Mike, one of the other gunfighters, invited me to start doing some gunfights. Wow. So uh, the, I see the sign that happens at noon. Is we that... actually do that ours at 1.30 and 3.30. Ah, so there's yeah. four different gunfights. Yes. Wow. Ours are on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Excellent. Excellent. So... So tell me about your guns. Well, I got two copies of the Colt Peacemaker. Uh, they are replicas of the Colt 45s. Uh, they load 9 millimeters, not 45s, and they're blank guns, so they can only shoot blank rounds. Uh -huh. They have a stop in the barrel. Let's see what that looks like. No, that's kind of different. I don't know if the camera can see that. But that no, can't see that. Can't yeah. see that. Thank you. Yeah. But it's just a regular round that's crimped. And then it's got stops in the barrel, so that way, if I did put a live round in here, it wouldn't fire. It'd go off, but it would just blow the gun up and not fire the round. Oh. Wow. Nice. And open carry in Arizona, does that affect you? Um, it kind of does. That's why I can't carry real guns out here. I would be carrying real guns loaded with blank rounds, except I have to be 21 to legally uh, open carry. Not quite there yeah. yet. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. What's, what's the weirdest thing that ever happened in a gunfight? Well, we had, um, I don't really call this weird. It was just kind of somebody being rude. Uh, but uh, we had, um, we were doing a, a gunfight. Wasn't a tourist, right? It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were doing our gunfight, and then a motorcycle rider drives right on through, oh. right while we're shooting at each other. Oh, wow. And then another time we shot, and then a guy in the back just fell down. Just because you don't yep. like it. Good, good, good. I have to ask, why two hat champs? Well, I got two hats on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how'd that start? Did you have a second head and then it died off? And yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> but no, originally there were two different hats. Now I just have two of the same. But um, originally it was I liked the way one looked yeah. and I liked the way one felt. So I stuck the one that I like the look of on top. And style. One, yeah. Yeah. Style and comfort. Yeah. All and then um, an Indian lady up there, she owns the shop, Nade Touch. Uh -huh. uh, she gave me the nickname uh, Two Hats. So. And the chance is? That's just my name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. That settles a, a question yeah. I've had before we got up here. What's old? Now, Olive Oatman, yeah. what part does she have? With the town of Oatman. Well, she didn't really play a part, except they named it after her. Originally, she was coming across the uh, country with her family in nine or yeah. seven. I can't think today. Eighteen. Uh, something. Yeah, <laughs> something. And she came through here, at, or not through here, down there about 150 miles south from here, mm -hmm. uh, down there near Hewlett's Bend. They were coming across the country when they got massacred. Oh, and that can only happen once. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And um, she survived, and so did her sister. They took her captive. The and then Native her, Americans? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Indians did, uh, the Yavpais. And a year later, they were traded to the Mojave Indians down south of the Colorado River. And there they spent four years with, or two years, with the, uh, I can't think today. That's right. With them Indians. And then um, her sister died of starvation. Ooh. But it wasn't because they were trying to starve her out. It was because even the Indians were dying off. Back then, the Colorado River down there was so low, you could set from one side to the other and not oh, get wet. Talk about a drought. Yeah. Wow. So even the Indians were dying off. All would remain with them for another two years before she was traded to some uh, settlers along uh, the Colorado River. But she actually didn't want to leave, is what she said herself. She liked the, the family she had. Yeah, she had American. family, and they didn't treat her as a slave. Uh, I noticed she has tattoos. Yes, if you look closely on them, there's flames and all sorts of different stuff on them. And they weren't slave marks. They were actually um, marks for, uh, as she's one of the tribe. Oh, so it wasn't a bad mark. It was a pride mark. Yes, yeah. it was that she, she was part of the tribe. Wow. And there's a theater. Oh, uh, we got that far, but why? That's her last name, Oatman, but how did we get the town open? Well, the book that she wrote got 
passed through the town, the miners thought she was a pretty woman, gone through a real rough ordeal. Yeah. So they took a boat and named the town after her. Wow. And changed the name of the post office from uh, Bentner. No, not Bentner. Can't think today. Um, I, it's, every yeah. day is that way for me at my age. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they changed the name of the post office from uh, that to uh, Oatman. So Great. been open ever since. That's a nice tribute. You have a movie house? Uh, the movie house oh, is up there. Up there. Yeah. But this, oh. It's so still the saloon. The okay. Yeah. Saloon. Yeah. Interesting. Nice breeze today. Yeah. Cool. Howdy, Howdy, folks. Thank you. So, where are the burrows today? Well, not really sure. I have a rest. We're, you know, this place, the last time I was here, it was just full of burrows. I see remnants of burrows on the ground. Where are the burrows? Are they having a strike? Are they worried about the, the virus or what, what's... Well, they might be worried about the virus, not sure. <laughs> but uh, right now there ain't no people in town to feed them. Uh -huh. So they're out in the hills grazing. Yeah, we yeah. saw some coming in. Yeah. And the first thing I said, oh, I'm going to take a bunch of carrots for the burrows. And then I was schooled on maybe that's the best thing. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, uh, the donkeys are not like a horse at all, so they can't digest carrots properly. It's uh, the word for it is too hot for them. Yes. Uh, because it has way too much sugar. Uh -huh. uh, it basically gives them a sugar high, and they go around hurt people and ah. other donkeys. Ah. Yeah. And also, it's dangerous for the people because they'll attack them to get the carrots from yeah. them. They're not real docile TV type of. They uh, usually, donkeys, they usually are. There are donkeys out here are really docile and friendly, yeah. but uh, they get really aggressive over the carrots. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the cross on their back. I've heard several stories about the cross on their back. What what story do you like about it? Well, they're called the Jerusalem burrows. Yeah. Now uh, the story is that when Christ rode across, you know, to the cross on the back of the donkey, mm -hmm. uh, the shadow of the cross laid out on the donkey's back. That's the one I ran across. I like that one. Yeah. That's great. Okay, let's continue on down. Looks like they're doing some construction on the Bucktooth Burrow. Yeah, they're actually working on uh, old Yellow Hammers over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Yellow Hammers, nickname or Indian name or? It's his Indian name. Uh, yeah. And the tribe most prevalent in this area? Uh, the Mojaves. Mojaves. And there's an oh boy. I'd spend a fortune here. Jackass treasures. Yeah, in there they got all sorts of leathers. They got vests. I actually got this vest from in there. They got all sorts of vests, gun belts, and holders, and all sorts of good stuff. Purses, bags. And this looks like a turquoise silver jewelry. That's exactly what it is. Inside they got a bunch of rings and necklaces, and they got... Um, Sunglasses, some shirts, and uh, some polished gems. Wow. When I became widowed, I took my wedding ring off, but my husband had bought me a turquoise ring, and it's unique because it's gold in turquoise. So I'm, yeah. I'm partial to turquoise. It's also my birthstone. So I like turquoise. Yeah. Beautiful stone. And Kingman is pretty well known for yeah. turquoise. Ma major mines. Right? Yeah, they're king turquoise up there. It's running a lot of money for a lot of money right now, too. Oh, I bet. I bet. So, Normally, where do you eat here? Well, there's a couple of restaurants up here. There's the Olive Oatman restaurant right there. They got some pretty good food. And then there's the hotel up there. They got some pretty good food. Hotel stuff is more fancy, like they got real plates and real silverware oh, over there. Oh, real plates and real silverware. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Real downtown. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, over there, it's all plastic. Interesting. That one's just a bit fancier. Yeah, fancier because it's got real plates on it. No in and out burger, no fast food. No. No. So everyone around here is healthier because of that. Yeah. That. yeah. Real food and real yeah. plates. Yeah. Wow. I'll have to try that someday. Oh, this is kind of a new phenomenon the uh, escape rooms. And you, the town of Oatman has one. Yeah. Right up there, we got the Oatman jailbreak escape room. You got arrested by the sheriff for robbing a bank. He hid the bags of gold up there, and the crooked deputies helped me get him out for a share of the gold. Excellent. Solve the clues to get all five bags, and you escape. And if you don't know what an escape room is, it's kind of a new fad. 
and they lock you in a room, and there's clues in the room, and you have normally an hour to get out. Yeah. And so you follow the clues, and sometimes they're false clues, and sometimes they aren't, but you have to find the right clues to get out. And in this case, it's five bags of money. Gold. Yep. Oh, gold. Yeah, that's even better. All right. Moving on. Do you have uh, bed races? Yes, we do. Um, in January, we have the bed races, and mm -hmm. it's pretty fun. They get on the bed. Yeah. There's usually a mattress on there. Yeah. <laughs> um, then they have the pillows, and they have to run that bed down the street. They start at that white line down there. They run it down the street, they make the bed, and they run it back up. Oh. And one person has to stay on the bed at all times. Oh. Here come some cowboys in the town now. Yeah, we got some iron horses yeah, coming up. Yeah, iron horses. Come on through, boys. Woo! Come on. <laughs> Giddy up. place for motorcycles a lot of people want to stay on route 66 yeah and as Chan uh, two hat chance would say this is part of it yeah great it's especially busy with motorcycles down here on bike week oh. they don't allow cars through here because there's the streets lined up with bikes wow and this is a gallery and, and gifts also yeah right in there's that no parking spot that opens up and there's a uh, guy there, he sells some jewelry and- Any local artists from Oatman? Yeah, she uh, paints them all. She lives here and works there. Another stagecoach coming through. Come on through. That's a strange looking stagecoach I ever seen. Yeah. And being a mining town back when it was really ripping and roaring, I'm sure there was quite a few deaths just from haggling over gold or women. The desert took care of it. Yeah about right yeah most of the time it was actually just the miners out here there weren't too many gunslingers out in this town no. there were a few of them but not many back then the guns weren't really the guns were pretty expensive and a lot of times people just didn't carry them uh, yeah but people would buy them for their stagecoaches or whatever when they're driving through or what okay. or wherever they're going what kind of critters are out past the town well, we got mountain lions, coyotes, bunnies, snakes, lizards, and uh, squirrels. Coyotes will walk through town, and then uh, the mountain lion came through town, walk, walked through town a couple months ago, so. This Bucks, Arizona turquoise, and again, I said I like turquoise, and can you tell us about your shop? Yeah, uh, the turquoise I carry are from all these different Arizona and Nevada mines. You can see oh. the difference from mine to mine. Yes, so got these... Them talks about them right there and I got them all underlined back here on the map. Yeah. So there's Arizona Kingman turquoise, yeah. there's Nevada also and Nevada oh boy Royston, Royston yeah. and Arizona Sleeping Beauty yeah. and Nevada Pilot Mountain yeah. and wow all the different kinds. Now okay Bucks Arizona turquoise is just as you come in the town on the right hand side right. before the curve. Be sure and stop by and say hi to Buck. Yep. Desert Look, Treasure Collection. Desert Treasure Collection is yep. the actual name. This has been an interesting tour. I have a couple more questions, but I want to point out a very, very important location here in Oatman, if you visit. There's a restroom, a public restroom, just as you come in the town, right by the curve, as you come in the town. That's important. Tell me what it was like growing up in Oatman. Well, I didn't actually grow up in Oatman. I've oh, only been here the past couple of years. Okay. But it's it's fun. You get to go out and do a whole bunch of stuff. Gunfights are fun living out here and everything. And then there's just a lot of work to do out here and a lot of fun stuff that you can do. There's uh, not really many other kids up here, so that's not really something. But, uh, yeah, How there's all kids, sorts of stuff. I'm sorry. How many kids are uh, kids? How many people your age are here? Uh, two or three. Two or three? Yeah. I'm hoping they're ladies. Yeah. Oh, good for, good for you. Yeah. Um, so how do you go to school? Well, I do online school. Okay. So I, um, there's not a school in Oatman because it's not, it's not actually a town. This is a camp 
it's not incorporated into the state and it's just a community built around gold mine. So there's not, uh, there used to be a school back in the mining days, but that was a hundred years ago. Oh, okay. uh, the schoolhouse is down there, and but it's not up and running. It's a museum now, actually, but yeah. Well, I thank you very, very much yeah, for thank the you. travel here. And it is really a beautiful day. Um, I'm glad we came. Uh, probably the only YouTube video with no donkeys, burls in it. Yeah. So that makes us unique. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. All right. Hope to see you in the future. Yeah, I hope to see you in the future, All too. All right. So this ends our On the Road Again episode about Oatman, Arizona. Yeehaw!